focusing on uh, cardiovascular adverse events on ibrutinib or, or acalabrutinib in patients who later, of, of course, have started xanobrutinib in this study. Uh, I mean, those are, of course, important side effects. If you look at the most common AEs from the ibrutinib cohort and those who went on xanobrutinib, you see, you see hypertension as one of the one of the important AEs. So um, um, out of the uh, majority of patients actually did not have recurrence of hypertension. And uh, we had the one patient who had hypertension at the lower grade recurrence and one at the same grade. With atrial fibrillation, nine patients did not have recurrence out of 10 and one patient had recurrence at the lower grade of atrial fibrillation. So just talking specifically about atrial fibrillation, because that's, that's one of the AEs of interest, of course, that one patient who had grade 2 AFib on the study, which would be 1.6%, was the patient who had AFib on, on agrutinib in the past. So from the ACALOG-treated um, patients, uh, the patient who had atrial fibrillation in the past did not have recurrence of it. So again, uh, you know, in general, I kind of uh, review the data, but even focusing more on the cardiovascular reasons for drug discontinuation and BTK inhibitors, we seem to see uh, a, a better tolerance in xanobrutinib. 